Yeah, this is going to be a real truth for you Christians that um, are defending Satan. And don't say you're not defending him because you, you are defending him, okay? So if you obstruct justice, because that's what you're doing, um, there are a lot of Christians called by Christ, called by God, to not only investigate, but to expose the deceptions of Satan here in this world, that people would be able to start waking up and realizing that Satan has dominion over the non-believers here in this world, and that this world is greatly deceived, as Scripture says. So pick up your Bibles and start reading uh, the truth about what's going on in this very world that you try to defend. And what you're doing is you are obstructing justice. In a court of law, you are as guilty as the person committing the crime. So Satan is committing the crimes. He is the one deceiving the world. But we are trying to investigate, interrogate, and expose the crimes. And you're telling us not to. You're getting in the way. You're, you're blocking the exposure for Satan. You're trying to protect Satan that nobody would know his deceptions. And, and, and as a result, you uh, have been charged with obstruct justice. Obstruct justice makes you equal to the crime. If you're keeping six for Satan, meaning that if you're if you're looking out for the police so that you can say, hey, they're on to you. If, if, you're, if you're that person, or if you're trying to tell the courts, oh, no, 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 he wasn't uh, doing all that. The, the, these guys investigating and exposing and, and, and these people that have been doing all of these uh, you know, videos and all of these hangouts talking about what Satan's been up to in the world. They're wrong. They shouldn't be doing that. They're Christians. They should just be, you know, doing other things. If you're that guy, you're obstructing justice and you're as guilty. And listen to me, Christians, you're as guilty as Satan. You understand? If somebody's, if somebody's committing a crime and they're being exposed and you try to get in the way and you try to block so that they're not exposed, I want you to think about that for a second. Let that wrap around your heads. If somebody committing a crime, and make no mistake about it, Satan is an absolute criminal, and he's hired all of these criminal mentality people in government, the music industry, the entertainment industry, athletes, business, uh, 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 religion, uh, the pharmaceutical industry, politics, you name it. I mean, this entire planet is built on a system of deception. That's how they were able to deceive the world. And when people are investigating this system and, and, and pulling out the deceptions and exposing them and you tell them to stop doing it or you get offended that that would be happening, you are guilty under the charge of obstruct justice. Think about that. If, if a police officer is in court and he is trying to give evidence against a criminal and you try to stop the police officer from giving that evidence, you stick out your foot and try to trip him, or you tell him to stop giving the evidence, what you are doing is you are obstructing justice. You're, you are an obstruction to truth. You're obstructing justice. But you're not obstructing my justice. You're not obstructing the justice of any truther in, in this community on the internet or in the world. You're obstructing God's justice. You're getting in between God exposing Satan. I'm not exposing Satan. This is God's doing. All good things come through Christ. He is divine. I am the branch. All things that I do come through Christ. So if I'm exposing Satan, or if any Christians in this community are exposing Satan, and, and, and you're trying to stop that, or if that offends you, then you need to know what side you're on. You're, obstruct, you're obstructing justice. End of story. Uh, you need to go ahead and get out of the way. Because one thing I can tell you. Um, if you cross my path in this life. It's either because God puts you on my path. So that we could meet and we could talk. And we could sharpen each other's swords. Or that you could come to Christ. Or that we could learn together. Or that we could enjoy fellowship. Right? Right? Or, or or Satan forgot to move you. Satan forgot to get you out of my way. So I'm telling you, you're obstructing justice. You need to go ahead and get out of the way.